Ethan, now on our public safety beat. Each year, thousands of acres of Southern California wildland, along with thousands of homes, are destroyed during the fire season that can last from May through October. In some areas, as you know, it's all year long. With warmer temperatures and the threat of fire season on the horizon, the issue of prevention and fire safety is a top priority. And joining us now is our friend, Captain Eric Scott from the LA City Fire Department to tell us more. It's nice to see you again, Eric. Pleasure. We've had all these rains, right? That we, as we were talking in the break, it was beautiful when you looked up at Baldwin Hills and I was driving mm -hmm. home every day during the wildfire bloom and now it just looks like tender. Yeah. What should we expect and what, what are they doing to, uh, to deal with all of that brush? Well, we're going to have another active fire season. That rain that came was great. We needed it for the drought. It created a, quite the grass crop across the whole state and that's what you call light flashy fuel. So it's susceptible to a spark very easy and it spreads very quick to get into that brush. And then you got multi-level, multi-million dollar homes with people inside. So those are some of the challenges. So we want people to be prepared. We've all seen the devastating consequences of wildfires throughout the state. Mendocino Complex, the biggest one we've had, over 500, about 500,000 acres burned in the recent past. You had the um, fire up north that killed 85 people, the, the campfire. Camp fire. Exactly. So the threat's real. But so you just told us that, that uh, no more metal to use no more, no more uh, the, uh, tools with metal, right? Because they scared a good spark. Yeah, you know, we've seen a lot of well-intentioned individuals performing proper brush clearance, but they've started these fires. So with the city of Los Angeles in the recent past has enacted some new laws, and you can look them up online, but the basics are this. We don't want to use metal blades. You need to not do it on a red flag day when you have those big winds pushing. Have an extinguishing agent. Have a cell phone to call 911 if a fire breaks out. And don't be distracted. Those are the basics. So Eric, why don't you give us some real hard tips too on how to prevent these fires and how do we protect our homes in the best way possible. This last season was horrific for us here in California, as you know. You know, I'm glad you brought it up. Uh, two things. The Ready, Set, Go program is so important, and that's done all across the state and actually other countries Can you as delineate well. that for our viewers? For sure. Um, and if you Google Ready, Set, Go, you'll get a lot. Here's the basics. Here's what people need to know. If you have chosen to live in one of the beautiful areas that are backed up against brush, you need to always be ready. You need to always be ready. So you need to have your proper brush clearance. You need to get rid of any shake shingle roofs. You need to harden your home. Find out how are you going to get out when there is a fire. Where's your evacuation? What if that evacuation route's cut off? Where else are you going to go? What are you going to take with you? You know, don't, don't plan that when you have a huge fire coming at you. So that's the ready part. The set is when you actually have a fire that is threatening your area. Now you need to put that plan into action. You need to back your vehicle into your driveway. Grab those predetermined belongings. Put them into your car. Roll up your windows. Get rid of your umbrellas, your furniture around your house. And, and that's the set. And finally is the go. If we tell you to go, go. Get out of Dodge. And, yeah. and speaking of that, I mean, so what do you say to those people that are like, no, I'm going to resist. I want to stay home. I want to protect my property. What do you say to them? We get it. Mm -hmm. I live in a brush area. I want to protect my property. But we do not make formal evacuations lightly. When we tell people to leave, it's based upon predetermined pre like, uh, paths of fire, where mm -hmm. it's going to be coming from. And we need people to get out ahead of time because we need some room to work. We have large apparatus to bring up, hose line to stretch across the ground. So we need people to get out because then we're going to have to redirect resources to go protect them. And we're going to be in danger's way as well. Eric Scott, thank you so much for coming in. Yeah, really. For more information on fire safety, you can go to lafd.org slash safety and pull up those tips when you're trying to clear your own brush. No metal. Thank you. Thank you're you. welcome.